In the year 1204, the Byzantine Empire has been crushed by the Crusaders, Constantinople has been sacked, and the lands have been divided by the Latin Empire, which I will play as today to ensure that the Byzantines won't come back. You should also subscribe. So hello everyone, the year is 1204, Constantinople has been just sacked, and I am Emperor Baldwin, Baldwin, I, I thought he was meant to be Baldwin, of the Latin Empire, the replacement for the Byzantines. A lame replacement, if you ask me, but that is what we deal with today. We are a Crusader King, as this is, has been taken in a Crusade, or Compassionate, Forgiving and Graven, I don't know about that. Well, I guess that's all we have, since we have only Constantinople, I mean, only. <laughs> it sure still makes a lot of money, even though it's been just sacked. And I don't think that's historically accurate. And we have some holdings around Greece, so... We also have here many contenders and the Romanian struggle, again, for the, you know, Roman Empire. We have here the Bulgarian Tsar, the Roman Slayer. Yeah, he actually, I think, historically defeated the Latin Empire. And we have Nicaea, which will restore the Byzantines historically. Trebizond, which will outlast the real Byzantines, and Epirus, which, apart from a brief time where they were the strongest one, they will never not be very important. We are focused on learning. That I think we can do, and I have the right pro. I actually like, but I think I'm gonna go for sanctioned loopholes. I need claims, I think, on... I mean, I do seem to have a lot of claims I can get. Also, I can ask the Pope for some money. I mean, 600 is good, but I'm gonna take it. I thought I was gonna take some of these claims, but they are not. None of them are good for me right now. Also, I can also become the King of Thessalonica, which I'll do. Also, Dynasty Legacy, I think I'm gonna go House of Warriors. You know, going down the war territory or crusaders. Now let's actually start. I'm gonna sway my vassal here, Bonifacio. He's historically he would fight against the Emperor. So I need to sway him. It's even like yeah, is paying me not to attack them. And I'm gonna buy for it armored horsemen. Also our vassal Bonifacio is conquering lands in Greece, which I very much like. You know what, I'm not gonna make myself my own religion, I'm gonna reset the perks so I can get to sanctioned loopholes quickly as I'll need those claims. And I seem to have found, uh, seems I have found a good target for our next conquest. The Duke of Ikea, I'm gonna conquer. I mean, I do need all of this land in Greece for my war and to, you know, restore the Byzantines. I mean, not restore, replace. I mean, this is an easy war. Oh, I became a witch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the emperor of the new Christian, I mean, Catholic Byzantine Empire has become a witch. Also, I have the ecumenical patriarch of orthodoxy on my council. That's pretty funny. I can marry off my daughter to the, the son of the King of Sweden, and I can get an alliance with Sweden. That's good, since I'm, I'm gonna need it a lot. Finally, I can divorce my wife, and I'm gonna marry someone either for an alliance or... I mean, alliance is good here. France is a strong alliance, I'm gonna take it. Instead, I'm gonna get my son, someone who has good traits. Seems good. Intelligent and an alliance to some random duchy. Oh, I can also become the king of Hellas and get some more duchies. Oh, my alliance with Sweden is gone. The guy died for some reason. But I could get an alliance with Galicia Volinia or if I don't go for trains, I can get only Galicia Volinia, so I'll take that. Okay, I believe the target here is gonna be Epiros first, since he's the weakest one and he's in Greece, which is the land I wanna conquer first. So first the Duchy of Epiros, and now let's go conquer him. I mean, he's trying to besiege Achaea, but 
he stands no chance against me. Fifteen men survived, of course. That was an easy war again. Just need to give it to someone. I guess my brother. I would like to take on Bulgaria. But he is an ally to Kazaria. Which, I mean... Those 12,000 men are pretty imposing. And sadly... Genghis Khan doesn't seem to wanna, you know, become Genghis Khan. And... <laughs> it seems that Kazaria won't go away very soon, so... I'll have to wait until he dies. Well, I have a truce with Nikea. I guess I could go for Celestia. But I mean, they're pretty much my ally in terms of... I can always get an alliance with them if I had, you know, some kid. So I'm gonna keep them here. They're a good alliance potential nearby. But what I absolutely ta can take is the Duchy of Cyprus, which is weak and means nothing. Oh, someone has gotten rid of my of my truce with Nikea. Well, I guess I'll, guess I'll do the war with them right after here I finish it. Oh, he's still the... He's still the king. I only took the Duchy, I mean. But he is my vassal now, so... At least there's that. And more money from the Pope, of course, I'll take. And I'm also gonna found the Holy Order. So now let's go after Nikea. I'm gonna take Obsidian. I do not have enough piety. Now let's go against Nicaea. I mean, it's not... It's three counties, but it's better than nothing. I'll have to slowly eat away at them. Apart from this... From the Sultanate of Ram, I can defeat that quickly. Damn, these Latins, they are tricky. They've besieged my island. And they're running around from me, but I mean... They can't defeat me, still. And I captured him. That's Obsidian mine. And I'll keep those counties, thank you very much. These two are trying to rebel from me, despite the fact that they like me. Both of them like me and they still wanna be independent. Oh, I guess, I mean, I guess we're rivals, so... No, we're not, but I mean, you Bonifacio left, so... It's fine now, the king of Cyprus won't do shit. Oh, Ram is losing to Venetians. Well, what a shame. And also to Liberty War. I guess I'll take an advantage of that. Which is not really a rep good representation of it in reality. Jesus Christ, my son is gonna be so shit. He's sadistic and, well, craven, shy or paranoid. I mean, just go paranoid when you're going. I'm gonna make him go intrigue. I guess that's gonna help, I think. Well, that's Ram. And the Kingdom of Anatolia. Oh, and someone is attacking for it. I guess I'll deal with them first. And another son? I don't need this many sons. I mean, what's my succession? High partition, okay. I mean, that's a good succession type, if you ask me. It's definitely better than any other succession. In, you know, of the partition type. Why so many people attacking me for this fucking county? I'm gonna go besiege them. I don't care about attrition. Oh, and I can... <laughs> well, that was quick! I can establish the Latin dominance. Through retaking Constantinople, our realm has proven itself to be true and indisputable empire of the Romans. I get some renown. And all Byzantine leisure land becomes 
The Latin Empire. And the Romanian struggle, I guess. That's all. There wasn't even a, some pop-up about it. That's pretty lame if you ask me also, I lost this war. I have new available dynasty legacies and a lot of renown. So that's something. Plus I need to give away all these titles. I mean, I didn't expect this to go so well. Also, what the fuck? I guess... The Ayubits were supposed to be here. I mean, they still are here, but... Those aren't the real Ayubits that are... There's a load of Ayubits. There are only Ayubits. What happened to... It's between Alexandria, Palestine and, well, uh, this Ayubit Sultanate. Also, there are the Abbasids who are making a comeback right now. But I mean, that's it then. I did what I came to do. Nicaea and all of them are defeated. I mean, I guess I could go see some of these duchies, you know. I mean, and there are crusades. Still, that could be... There could be done something with that. But I mean, what's the point? I did what I came to do. The Byzantines won't come back, and there's a new power in their place, which is clearly more powerful than anyone around them. Apart from the fucking Bulgarians who are protected by the fucking Khazars. Ah, OP these hordes are, really. 20,000 men, that makes no sense. Their development is shit. Really shit. I mean, Constantinople is shit too in terms of development. Fucking Lydia has more development than Constantinople. I mean, I guess that's what happens when you sack it. But... Yeah, I mean, I could do some crusades or something, but I, like I said, that, what's the point? 